Hello everyone. In this chapter, chapter 5, we will be working with multiple table forms. In previous chapter, we designed forms for Bovant uh, Publishing Company. Now we are going to add uh, some more detail to those uh, forms and tables so that decision makers can fetch all of the related information in one view. For example, a bookseller or representative uh, can sell to many customers. Now we want to design two forms where the master form shows the representatives and the sub form shows uh, the list of related customers. It's a kind of uh, one to many relationship between book reps and customers. Because uh, one book representative uh, can sell book to many customers. Uh, so now let's look at the project to see what we are supposed to do. But before that, uh, let's look at the objectives for this chapter. Uh, by the end of this uh, chapter, um, you should be able to add yes, no, long text, OLE object, and etc. to a field and uh, also a table. And uh, we want to learn how to use input mask wizard, update fields, and enter data and some other materials like enhance the form title and uh, also use date time long text and etc for the queries the objective is to design uh, a multiple uh, form uh, for this project it should look like this uh, we want to have uh, first name, last name, phone number, salary, bonus, and etc. for the book representative. And each representative sells books to many customers listed in this subform. So uh, the owner of this publishing company wants to track all of this um, sales and uh, with their details, same representative like uh, this lady and the items with all the details sold to customers. So let's read uh, the title of the project. The Bavant company, publishing company, uses its database to keep uh, records about customers and book reps. After using the database for several months, uh, Bovant has found that it needs to maintain additional data on its book reps. The company wants to identify those book reps who have reached their sales goals. They also want to include comments about each book rep as well as the book rep's picture. Also, the book reps now maintain files about potential customers. These files are separate from database. And uh, at the end of the project, we want to add phone number with uh, uh, with uh, input uh, filters. Uh, we want to uh, enter, define a filter for the phone number in this format. So we want to define this format so all the users could uh, get their number uh, in this uh, type and format. So now let's go to the Excel file access so we be, we want to design this form let's see what uh, first we have to go to create uh, there are uh, many ways to create a form but the simplest um, way is to use form wizard it is going to add some uh, features automatically so you don't need to worry about the details but uh, you can also design your form in form design um, I'm comfortable with uh, form wizard so let's look at the project first we have to enter book rep first name last name phone number salary so first from the book rep we have to select the book rep table from that we need to select book rep number first name 
and then last name phone number uh, we have not designed the phone number so let's go back before designing the, the form we need to add some extra uh, fields to our book rep table okay so here is in design view data view and I'm going to open it in design view here we have the list of uh, fields and data types so after the postal code uh, we need an extra field phone number phone number I'm going to leave it as a short text for its data type but I'm going to define input mask for the form we need two parentheses between the first around the first three digits and a hyphen between the sixth and seventh digit so I think uh, this first option works the best next it is going to be our input mask next and uh, we have two options how do we want to uh, store our data it is going to store data without a mask but when it wants to show up the information uh, it is going to add the parenthesis and the hyphen so uh, I'm going to choose this one to store less characters in our data set and then finish so we have added the phone number and we also need some extra uh, fields sales goals I'm going to select it as yes and no true false is a kind of binary data type comments uh, long text works best for this field picture for picture uh, we have two options we can either use attachment or OLE object for this one I'm going to select OLE object to be able to upload and store our uh, image files in the data set a table and customer notes okay I'm going to put its data type attachment okay so now I'm going to save this information book rep we can go to the data view so some new information has been added to this form uh, there is a folder in chapter 5 of the uh, textbook chapter chapter 5 of the Excel chapter so I'm going to add the information of these two people Melina Perez and Robert Chin so it's been already added so I'm going to add their number here for example 403 four, five, six, three, six, two, eight. let's say they meet the sales goals
for the picture I'm going to right click and insert object uh, I'm going to select bitmap image OK so I need to go to that folder we have picture of this uh, sales representative for book rep Melina Press right click um, copy and then go back to the paint and then select paste and uh, save so it is going to be added to the picture field here is the notes attachments add to the desktop folder chapter 5 we have two attachments for Melino Press one is an Excel file and the other is the word file we can select both of them and add them to the database okay. and um, let's add information for Robert Chin his phone number 548-258-9568 okay go to the other fields let's assume uh, this seller or book representative did not uh, meet the sales goals comment like average book rep and his picture again I'm going to right click on that insert object uh, bitmap image again I need to go uh, to chapter 5 folder you can download it from Cengage website uh, Robert Chin right click on his picture and then copy then go to the bitmap click on paste and now we can save this picture so it is going to add the picture to the data table and for the extra files again I'm going to click on this field right click manage attachment add and then from the chapter 5 I'm going to add one Excel file uh, for this book rep these are some uh, extra information uh, saved for the book representatives so that uh, the publishing company can refer to those information later on in their assessments and it is going to help them in their decision making open and then click OK okay so now I have added the data in the data view save okay so until now uh, we have redesigned and added some extra fields to our data table because that company needed some more fields it needed to have um, um, some new information about uh, its customers and then we added the related data uh, so data entry is a kind of uh, time-consuming task and uh, some error may happen during the data entry but sometimes we need to do that we cannot avoid this step so now uh, we can go back to create 
we want to create a form from this table book rep and then we want to connect the book rep with the customer we want to see which book representative sold which one of these items in the customer okay so we want to connect these two tables book rep and customers so now I'm going to go to create tab and then uh, there are different ways that we can add form from form form design black form and etc but I'm going to select form wizard let's go to the project so we need uh, these fields book rep number first name last name phone number from book rep table it has already been selected from this menu we are going to work on book rep we need book rep number first name last name phone number and then we need salary bonus rate start date salary bonus rate start date sales goals comments pictures sales goals comments pictures and also the customer notes those extra information that be attached to our field I think we have uh, added all of the required fields to our form this is going to make our book rep master form so next data sheet let's see which one works best for our let's select justified next book rep master form form I'm going to name it as book rep master form it is going to be the title of the form and then click finish okay so it is going to be our master form okay by clicking on this navigation buttons we can get all of the information for uh, the book reps now we want to add information of the customer table to this form to see uh, what items were sold by each uh, book rep so So now uh, we have the master form we are going to add the customer form at the on the side of this next to this um, master form to be able to track the items sold to customers so this is we are in form view from view button we can go to design view and from design uh, tab we can select the items or controls that we need to add to our forms uh, there is an item in these controls called sub form or sub report we can select it and then add it to our form so it is going to open a sub form wizard we are going to uh, use the existing tables and re records so I'm going to select customer form so we are going to select customer for each record in book rep using rep book rep number okay customer i'm going to 
name it customer subform okay so it is going to add this subform to our main form so let's go back to our form view we have all of the details of those information in this subform for example here we can track the list of customers that this seller sold items two three four five six and now we can go to the next seller Michael Stanek next is this seller and here from this subform, customer subform, we can track his customers. This way, this is basically how we uh, create multiple table forms and uh, to connect two type of tables. One table works like a master table and another table works like a kind of dependent table so this way with one um, field like book representative number we can connect these two tables and then track items in other forms so I uh, used the sub form control for this purpose and there's some other uh, controls we can go to the view form design view and we can use uh, some other uh, items uh, to show our information like we can add uh, manually add some text box for the intended fields labels but uh, the most comfortable uh, way is to use wizard and it is going to add all these fields with the best type of controls to represent the data as always, if you have any questions, any problems, uh, please feel free to join my virtual meeting room or send me an email. And please don't forget to uh, practice this exercise. Uh, you can use your textbook and follow the instructions and also read and watch uh, these uh, lectures. And uh, if you run into an issue, uh, please uh, let me know. There are a lot of um, um, great features in Microsoft Excel that we can work uh, to create uh, beautiful forms and tables for our business, for our organization, and etc. Uh, so, with that, I'm going to wrap this lecture. Please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.